Hey guys, it is Sunday evening and I've got Lucy Grace here with me. We are in the nursery. We're on the floor. I've just got a blanket laid down on the floor, so I'm trying kind of a different angle um, to video in. And I wanted to make this video because I thought of a very interesting, well, to me it seems interesting, topic. Um, you know, with the huge growth and popularity with these babies, silicone babies is what I'm talking about. There's little Miss Lucy. Um, I wanted to chat with you guys about what is it about silicone baby dolls that makes us go so gaga because we do, let's face it. <laughs> we all want to pretend like, you know, it's no big deal or they're just a doll and you know when in reality um there's something about this medium that really draws us and i figured it'd be fun to kind of share with you what it is about the medium that i love so much so i'm going to take this blanket out from underneath her just because i think the the white coloring will look better it's kind of a weird angle, but hopefully you guys can, we'll get to see enough of her. So as I'm kind of chit-chatting with you all about what it is that I love so much, I'm also going to take off her little pants. I'll put them back on her um, later, but it's nice and toasty in our house now that our heat is working properly. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I just thought it would be a fun topic I know there, there are different things that each of us probably really enjoy about the silicone, but the medium itself really lends it, it, it lends itself to be something that is more, you know, living skin looking when painted properly, more alive looking also, very important to get that type of effect, you have to have a really well painted baby because I've seen some not so great painted babies um, that are transparent or just seem blushed and there's no real depth to them. So I think that's a big part of it that really um, draws me to, in particular, Claire Taylor silicone is that there's a, there's a definite realism to her skin tones, but also there's this feel so when I've veered away from having any of Claire's babies in my collection, there's like there's there's something that makes me crave the feeling of her particular type of silicone that I don't get with other silicone dolls. Now, for most people, the first time they experience a silicone doll, they're completely wowed by the squishiness and the feel and the movement of it. But there's just something about different kinds of silicone that look, feel, squish in a different way. Um, and I know more artists are coming out with that premium silicone that squishes and wrinkles and just has more of a live effect feeling to it. It's very hard to describe um, unless you've felt it. Like I've tried to describe it in ways that people can kind of, you know, visualize or sort of get a feel for and you know my comparison was to memory foam like a mixture of memory foam and every time I undress this baby every time she, it happens every time I just look at her skin tones and I feel her skin and feel the silicone and I'm in awe every single time I may not come across on video when I'm changing her but I can tell you 100%, I feel it every single time that I handle her and pick her up because it's just such an amazing, wonderful feeling. And that's what I crave about silicone dolls that I don't get with a reborn, that I don't get with other, you know, one of a kinds, any other medium. I don't get that with, but I do get that with having a beautifully made, you know, silicone baby. You know, they just are so squishy and they're so malleable and they really do feel like when you're touching them, it's like skin. And that is what I'm always drawn to with these babies. And I think that's probably a big part of why most of us are. I don't know that for sure, um, other than 
you know, chit-chatting with other collectors and knowing they like the squish factor, they like the heaviness in their arms. And there are some collectors that just shy away from silicone because they don't like the fact that silicone is heavier and they, you know, especially if you have like shoulder, you know, problems and or injuries or arms, arm issue, issues and things like that, you can't hold things for especially heavy things or pick things up that are heavy. That becomes the challenge for um, certain collectors. I've I've heard it being talked about um, on Dalfan several times, and that's why some people will always stick with Reborns because they can keep them lightly weighted. But for me, you know, the realism is in the silicone. It really, really is. I can admire a beautiful Reborn, and eventually I'll have another Reborn in my collection. But I've I've found that I just don't do a whole lot with them when I have them, no matter how nice they are. No matter how beautifully painted they are, no matter how realistic they might seem, I just, I don't tend to interact with them, even though I can, because that's the safe bet is to change and handle a reborn, you know, every day versus a silicone that's a little bit more delicate or requires a little bit more um, care. And yeah, I still just, I, for some reason, I don't hold on to them for very long. But this sweet baby here, little Miss Lucy is just my ultimate, ultimate dream baby. I just, I am, couldn't be happier with her. Every time I look at her details, like I said, every time I take her clothes off and I see the depth to the realism of how Claire painted her, I'm just so thrilled that I am fortunate enough to have her. And like I said in many previous videos, throughout the many years of collecting, I hope everybody gets to experience, you know, that dream baby come true at one point in time or another. But I'm lucky enough to have, you know, had many wonderful dream babies and I'm really pleased to just have settled on this baby and feel so content. But how can you not love a little face like that? Like I I love how her hands are. I love how her facial expression is. I've always talked about, you know, her mouth being this perfect little newborn mouth. It really is. And I'm really funny about the mouths on on the dolls. A, a funky looking mouth can really ruin it for me. And I've had lovely babies that I just couldn't get happy with the mouth. And I always stuck a pacifier in it. Not 100%, but, you know, more than likely if you've seen a pacifier in a doll's mouth in my videos on a regular basis, it's because there's something about the mouth that bothers me. This baby has the most beautiful mouth. I don't think I have ever put a pacifier in this doll's mouth, which I've actually had questions on different videos of why don't you ever put You've never seen a pacifier in her mouth. Do you do you not use pacifiers? I really don't. Not with this baby. I just don't have the urge. She looks I'm sure she looks adorable. I've had them in past other Janicas that I've had um in the original edition. I've put pacifiers in her mouth. And I've got some really cute pacifiers that fit their mouth really nicely, even though it's pretty good size in there. You could put pretty much any size pacifier in there and it wouldn't hurt her. I just happen to love the look of her and her precious little mouth. I just love her. She is the sweetest little thing. And she's chilling with her little hat on. Really enjoying just hanging out with mommy. I just love her so much. I'm so, you know, I don't know. I think we take for granted once we've had a silicone doll, like especially our our dream dolls, we take it we take for granted the fact that we were lucky enough to get them in the first place, which is how we end up letting them go sometimes and then we regret it. So I feel beyond fortunate. Y'all have heard the story of the fact that I've been able to bring this doll back home. So I don't know. I, I would love to hear your feedback of what it is about silicone baby dolls that makes you go so gaga. Like there's, it's everything about it. Like I just love the feel. Like I crave. There are days where I cannot wait to get home and just pick up this baby just because I want to feel how amazing and soft her little silicone is. Like I just crave the feel of it. I know that sounds a little funny, but that's truly, honestly, how I feel about this particular baby or Claire Taylor's silicone, for sure. I just, I love the feel of it. You're just the precious little baby girl, Miss Lucy. So yeah, I just thought it was an interesting topic, something fun to talk about, you guys. I figured I'd share it with you. I was in the mood to make another video tonight. Um, it's getting later. What time is it? It's like after six o'clock here. But yeah, so I go gaga over 
the silicone for many reasons and I hope you guys find that that's kind of an interesting topic and feel free to make a video of your own if you'd like and I apologize for the barking in the background um, the dogs seem to be thinking someone is here when there's nobody here so but there is Miss Lucy looking so sweet happy to hang out with mommy <laughs> I love this baby, you guys. You know I cannot get enough of her. So I hope everybody's had a wonderful, enjoyable Sunday. It never did get very warm here today. I think it said it got up to like 18 degrees. Clearly not warm enough for me. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow it'll be warmer like they say it's going to be. But I'm going to put her pants back on her and keep her swaddled and put her in bed so she can hang out in her pod when I'm away at work tomorrow. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a great night, and I'd love to see or hear your responses on what makes you go gaga over these silicone babies and be a great topic of discussion. So have a good night, guys, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.